Hey, Backburner! Ryan here. A neutrino is a fundamental particle of the universe that can pass through matter without reacting to it. Every second, approximately 83 octillion neutrinos come from the sun and hit the surface of the Earth. We just don't notice, since basically all of them pass right through to the other side. In a sense, once a neutrino is created, it is destined to be on a nearly unchangeable, perfectly straight path. Straight can have other meanings, like in the sense of heterosexual or not gay, for example. Can we measure straightness in that sense? And if so, what is the straightest thing in the universe? If you're anything like me, your mind likely goes to a sports bar. Buffalo Wild Wings may as well be a temple to heterosexuality, with its mediocre food and sports visible at every angle. But let's think about this for a second. How many female customers do you see? I count three out of 17 in total. That means their clientele is 82% male. And what are those men doing? Well, there's a good chance they're staring at other conventionally attractive men. We can see 11 TV screens here, and six of them are focused on one or two athletic men instead of staying at the sport's usual camera angle. What's so straight about this situation, really? Yet we all act like this is a normal thing for bros to go do. We need a better way to measure straightness levels, and today, I'm going to try and create one. First, we need a method to quantify straightness, and luckily for us, we already have one, the Kinsey Scale. Created by Alfred Kinsey in 1948, the Kinsey Scale is a way to describe how hetero or homosexual someone is, with zero being 100% straight and six being 100% gay or lesbian. It has its issues, but if we're just measuring straightness, it'll do nicely. Secondly, we need a systematic way to place non-living things on the scale, or at least something more objective than do straight people tend to like this thing or not. Straight people are whack. We can't trust them here. So, we first assume that every untested thing is a 3 on our straightness scale. The things we're measuring don't need to reproduce, so assuming heterosexuality by default probably isn't accurate. After that, we subject it to three tests. The similarity reaction test, the gender gap test, and the panel. Each of which can move the straightometer by one point in either direction. The similarity reaction test determines how well the thing interacts with other instances of itself. For example, two televisions don't really do anything unique if you connect them, so they're considered pretty straight. Computers, meanwhile, are super gay, since they can share information via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Fairly simple stuff. The gender gap test attempts to assign the object, place, or concept a gender, and measures how differently men and women feel about it. For some objects this is easy, a screw is male and a bolt is female, for example, but for others, much less so. We can use other languages to help us, though. In Spanish, basically every noun is considered male or female. A book is un libro, pepper is la pimienta, and so on. If there's no consistent gender for a thing, or if different genders don't really react to it differently, this test won't affect the straightometer at all. And lastly, we have the panel. I gathered a group of straight and queer people alike to simply give their opinion on the straightness of what I was testing. That doesn't sound very objective, I know, but culture matters enough in our assessment to at least be given some weight on the straightness scale. So with all that in mind, let's return to Buffalo Wild Wings. The panel agreed that the place was hella straight, but let's do our tests. Chain restaurants in general keep separate from themselves so as to not overprovide for one market, so it gets some more straight points there. But what gender is Buffalo Wild Wings? I'd argue it presents itself as male, based on its all caps, bold logo, and awful interior design choices. So, since it's male and attracts a primarily male audience, it actually loses some straightness points, leading to a final straightness score of 1.9. It's certainly straight, but not as much as you might have expected. In that area of the Kinsey scale, we start entering I'm not gay but territory pretty quickly. Of course, I've been ignoring an undisputedly straighter alternative to BW3s up until now, Hooters. It suffers from all the previously mentioned straight traps in addition to exploiting female sexuality to bring in men, producing a straightness score of 0.4. It's going to be hard to beat that. But we're going to try. So what else is there to consider? We've already dismissed most of sports given their single gender and physical nature, but perhaps we can find inroads in golf. 
the panel found golf to be super straight. And since golf is single participant and you have to wait for others to take a shot before you can, it also ends up on the straight side of the similarity reaction test. But just like BW3s, it stumbles on the gender gap test. Golf is considered male by romance languages, Spanish just calls it el golf, for example, but the only difference between men and women's golf is the tee-off location. Ultimately, it doesn't provoke enough gender differences to slip by Hooters, scoring a 1.6. So sports isn't going to get us there. Maybe we can try some down-home country music. Now, reducing an entire genre of music to a number isn't ideal, so I'm going to reference a particular Luke Bryan song called Strip It Down just to help us focus a bit. I've copied some of the extremely high quality lyrics onto the screen, but all we really need to know is that it's about a guy wanting a woman and referring to that woman in the second person. This implies that the listener is a woman and therefore the gender gap test finds this song to be super straight. However, and this is the key, most country songs sound the same and can be mashed up with each other basically at will. So the similarity reaction test tempers our final score to 1.4. It's actually quite difficult to get a song lower than one, by the way, since as the song becomes more original, it becomes more likely to be enjoyed by the panel, and therefore less stereotypically straight. Let's quickly run through a few more. Cargo shorts? Not straight enough. If you have one, you have several, and they're all probably in the same place, so it fails the similarity reaction test. So what about magnets? Opposites attract, likes repel. What could be straighter than that, right? Well, magnets themselves don't elicit different reactions from men and women, so the score can't dip below one no matter what. Not even literal heterosexual sex is straight enough to beat Hooters, since to quote the panel, bi people have that on lock. We obviously haven't exhausted every possibility. Not even close. There are simply too many things out there to find the straightest one ever. But perhaps it's better that finding something perfectly straight is so difficult. In a way, it shows that there's more that unites us than divides us. And as always, thanks for watching.